I got this one right here. Tell him, DJ, tell him right there. Ninja's gonna work on another one he sees in here. That's an alpha right there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was sick! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness. You're in the air! That was a prayer to the iguana god. Wow! The oh. First catch of the day. Dude, that was incredible. That was gnarly. That was gnarly, son. Dude, I got that all on film, dude. Oh, oh my goodness. That's, that's an epic catch, dude, for Man. the morning. Ooh. Flip him up. Whoa! Look at the size of that bugger. Oh my goodness. That was sick. Dude, great way to start the morning, son. We got more in here too. Dang, look at all these mangoes up here. Look up, look up, Oscar. Yeah, oh, look at that one ripe one. Oh man. <laughs> in the bag, buddy. All right, guys, you guys see, we are not wasting any time this morning. We're bagging these iguanas. We're hired out here, guys. We got the contract. They, these guys want them gone. So we're out here. We got the full team out here, y'all. Another one in the bag. Oh, he's going to death roll it out. The silly iguana. Ah, oh, these are what these iguanas Mango. are after right here. Mango. Mango. Ah. Oh. So you guys, you guys are seeing it right here. So far, our morning is definitely up to a very good start. We've only been out here literally for 10 minutes. We already got several iguanas in the bag. Got the big ass mango. Look. Oh, yeah. We got iguana living in the mango tree? Yeah. yeah. One of the six. Oh, you said there's six mango trees right yeah, in this area. Six mango trees in that one backyard. There's, there's at least over 15 mangoes in this in we're this just area. right in this area there's right 16 the 15 mango trees exactly. mango tree and that's the mango tree favorite fruit one of the favorite fruits yeah. of these pesky green iguanas down here in south florida so guys we're on the other side of the lake real quick and the iguana ninja was not lying guys this place has mango trees everywhere. Mangoes. 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 Iguana. Weird how big these animals get and the fact that they love to eat fruits, vegetables, and other vegetation. It's edible to them, guys. Even grass. It's pretty wild stuff, man. So a mango, well, that's just like a fruit candy bar right there for them. And they absolutely love it. I'm saying... I have nothing important, no wallet, no phone, just a mango, so I'm ready to die. We're going for that one up in the tree, that big, oh yeah, look at him. He could just get it, maneuver this. Oh. Is that another one? Oh, it is. Oh. That's another one. Wow. If he could miraculously find the noose around that iguana's head, That'd be sick if the iguana somehow jumps out and he's snoosed and then we're able to get him. Yeah. That would be that would be perfect. Money sudden. These iguanas are smart guys. They climb at the tippy top of these mango trees. Oh, right there. Alright, so just push it literally forward. Push forward. Just push forward, push forward. Push the stick forward. Forward. Like, or just no 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 no. Don't move it. Don't move it. Push forward. Forward. For this way. Hold on. He, he's doing it. He's doing okay. it. Okay. Because he has it right. If she moves. Yeah, just leave it right yet. Yeah, just wait until she moves. And don't move. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Okay, got it. You got it. All right, hold on, hold on. This is where it gets a little. Oh. All right, he's walking up there. Oh, yeah, he is. That's a brave man. He got Spider Man feet. Oh, shoot. Look at you. All right, he's like... okay. Well, if they go on the other side, they're, we can get them. Oh, yeah. Let them go. Let them go. He's gonna literally climb up there for that iguana. Yeah, he got it. He's touching it. Oh, is he? He got it. He got it. Come a little bit closer and then then drop it. Well, yeah. Just come on down. Yeah, nice and down. safe. And then just pass him to me. Don't yeah. Yeah. Him. Don't even drop him. Just pass him. We don't want to take no chance. No chance. Well, you know these these iguanas just ate a bunch of mango. They're gonna yeah. be all charged up. As soon as he let go, he's gonna wiggle, 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 wiggle. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Come to Papa. I got it. Oh Whoa, shoot! Whoa. The wiggle, wiggle. Whoa. The first chance he gets. He's a nice boy too. Yeah, great he is. Catch, he man. is great. He's a nice great catch. catch. Nice, nice spikes. Young nice Jew. dewlap. Yep. Good eater. Yep. Good for the pot. The alpha is smart. Let's see if he's smarter than the iguana ninja, though. The silly iguana. He was smart, all right. Not smart enough for the ninja. Should have ran when you had the chance with your friends, guy. But no, he wanted to be territorial. Yep. We ended up catching him lacking. Nice grab, ninja. Thank you. Potions is key, young iguana hunter. Young iguana hunters out there, take note at the iguana ninja. Take note and learn. It's a Sheila. It's a Sheila. It's a Sheila. Oh. It's a girl. Female. Alpha female. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of big Sheilas Sheila. over here. Yeah, time to grow. Oh, nice. I thought it was a male. I thought it was a male, too. I thought it was a male, but she was asserting her dominance uh -huh. like a male, kind of. Juiced up on mangoes. Not a care in the world. Nice. There's no, there's no oh, you see. Oh. Alpha. Macho. Macho iguana. That's right, DJ. That's right, dude. That's a big one up there. He is alpha for sure. And that's the only alpha up in the tree. Yeah, he's not gonna allow no other iguanas in there. It's too, it's the tree is too valuable to him. Yeah. It's too valuable. It's got mangoes, it's got territory. There's probably some females up there. And he's got perfect, uh, you know, ocean side or, or water side property yeah. right yeah. here. Yeah. Why would he give that up? It's worth fighting for in his eyes. He is alpha. He probably have his queens and his babies up in there. That's right, dude. That's right. Hmm. We caught some of his little babies right now. But we're gonna go ahead and try to catch him. We're gonna see what the boys want to do. All right, bro. Good boy. I'm gonna go look over here. What are, what are we gonna do with that? You gonna try to get him? Yeah. You gonna try? Okay. You gonna try another set? Yeah. Alpha. is up there somewhere. Okay. Hold on one second, everybody. I think we found the, I think we found a nest, DJ. Yeah. I think they see another alpha up there. Yeah. I think we found an area where the alphas are hiding. Oh, he's got it. Oh, shoot. All right, perfect. Just hold him just like that. Yeah, I got, I got. Yeah. He's up there, guys. He's pinned. Big alpha. Holy smokes.
Oh shoot. Giant mangoes are falling from the canopies of the mine. Guys, it's straight pandemonium on the ground right now. Oh shoot. Whoa. Yeah, take straight pandemonium, guys. He's up there, he's pinned. He's right there. Yeah, he's pinned. He's still on the string? Yeah, yeah, he's still on the string. Oh yeah. Yep, I see him. Yep, careful let me go. if you fall, you're falling the water. be kind of okay. Nah, these trees are strong. Oh yeah. He's got him. Damn, all three of them boys went up there. <laughs> Second nature ninja, they didn't even hesitate, dude. Look at that. Oh, oh, smack. Don't lose the tail. Grab him by his neck. Yeah, let some string go. Yep, let him get it. There you go. Great execution, gentlemen. Great three-man tree work. I love it. I love it. If you smell that, you can smell the mangoes. These ones look good to eat. We're going to grab these. Confiscate them for evidence. Bad iguana. We got we got two we got a few up ahead. I'll let you go. Guys, we got five giant iguanas over there. Just go wide, just go wide, and then try to get whatever y'all can. Holy crap! Look at all those iguanas. Wait, tell them the un, wait. We need, we're trying to get a triple up. Wait, wait. All right, guys. Now it's up to Ninja to get that last one. All right, we got a triple up. Yep, y'all good. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, he's off, he's off, he's came off. Hold on. Got him, got him. Got him. <laughs> Whoa. Right underneath the mango tree. Those silly iguanas. We'll come out. We'll come out over here. Come out over here, boys. Wow, that was sick. All right, guys. I think I found an alpha. Yeah, I was just gonna tell you guys that. Wait. That's different. Oh yeah, that's his tree right there. Okay. Nice work, boys. As you guys see, we're in this mangrove forest right here. There's mangoes everywhere growing naturally. And the iguanas are taking a real liking to it. As you can see, they're just hanging out in the shade, eating mangoes, getting fat, being alpha, turning dominant and territorial, guys. 
They want these mangoes. It's a resource to them. Sheesh, I might have to eat one of these. Bad, bad iguana. Drop a comment if you know what type of species of mango this is. This is what these iguanas are doing. They're being alpha. Oops, amigo. Ninja, as soon as you get the alpha, everybody move in and y'all y'all get the rest. Look back there. Go, 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 go. Ninja's got the alpha. Oscar's gonna get this female. Look right there. Good job, Ninja. That was fantastic. Yep. We just caught the alpha in front of this lesser alpha. Go ahead. Teach that iguana a super, super fat lesson. Got you, buddy. Trying to spin it off. Triple again, right? Yep. Fantastic work, boys. Ask him if he's caught any iguanas before. No, nunca. Never. Oh, okay. Good job. We got six. We got six of them? Yes, ma'am. We do this for a living. Yeah. What are we doing there? Honestly, we're going to we're gonna eat them. We're going we're gonna to turn them into wallets. No, I don't. I don't. So I can't tell you what they're eating. You, you wanted the truth. I can't lie to you, man. I don't want to lie to you. Okay, the team is here. These bonuses just came back, guys. They just came back, they don't care. There's two alphas in this tree. Make sure it's around his jaws. Take your time for a second, slide it down his jaws. It's not on his jaws yet. Let me try to scare him up into it. Hold on one second. I'm gonna scare him up. Try to, yeah, he's being alpha. <laughs> try to bring it, hold it down, pull it down, pull it down. Pull it down. Yeah, pull it down so it goes on his jaws. It's not on his jaws. All right, now, yep, you got him. Yep. All right, pull him, pull him back, pull him back, boys. Oh, oh, there's two. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. Ninja, yep, get that one and flip him right in the bag. No, 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 not yet. You got him, Ninja. Flip him back, bud. Flip him back. All right, we got two. Come, Come over here, Ninja. See if you could swing him on this way. Yeah. Put the rod out, maybe. Maybe try to swing them back. Yep. Oh shoot! It's raining iguanas. No, no, no! It's gonna break. Ninja's gonna break pull. This, uh, pull. Ninja, let some slack go. It's all gone. Uh, yeah, it's all gone. I can't. I'm all right, push it forward. Hold on. Hold on. Push it forward. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Nicely done, boys. Big two. Big. Big two piece. Super sized meal, buddy. That's not a kid's meal, y'all. This is a two piece. Big, super sized, though. Look at the mango on this guy's face. My goodness. You mango loving mother lovers. Look at this beast. Look at this. 
Look at the tail on this monster. Oh my goodness. Two giant iguanas in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> We've dethroned the king once again. This is a big chunker. Yo, his head. All right, this is definitely a different. Uh, it's just me, but his head looks more like narrower. They're not like the next, not as fat as the other ones. This one just looks different. It's just me. I don't know, guys. This one looks. Look at his tail is like arches right here. Yeah, you know? like it's kind of weird arch. His tail is like a paddle though. That's what I'm huh? saying. This thing is huge. Look at this thing. Imagine getting whacked with that in the face. See, uh, yeah, another one in the back. Medium sized female. Iguanas, guys, they're living everywhere. He's got another one. Wow, guys, just like that, man. We got a healthy, healthy seven iguanas from that backyard, including that big, massive alpha. Look at this right here. These are some of the females. You look at their face, they're just full of mangoes, guys. Caught them red hands. If you give a man a fish, he can feed himself for a day. If you teach a man how to fish, he can feed himself forever. And that's what a wise fisherman told me. And that's why I've been honing in on my skills, catching iguanas, fish, and now crustaceans. Crabbing is a favorite pastime of mine. I love everything about it. The hunting, cleaning, and of course, the eating. Today after work, we are going crabbing with our friend, Captain Eric. But first, we got some iguana removal to do. After bagging our first one, we look for others. Good catch, good catch. Thank you, dude. Got him in the bag. Real quick, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what's going on over here. Got right here some some poo. Yeah, right up here. It was just clean. It was just clean uh, recently, and uh, got poop and there's leaving these stains. Nobody wants that. Mm. Even our boys over here, they already know what's up. Hey guys! Absolutely, absolutely. And right here, it's like they got some nice thick cover, you know. Got him in the bag. In the bag. Fresh or saltwater iguanas can survive. These iguanas happen to be saltwater iguanas. 
From our experience, saltwater iguanas seem to be smarter and more feisty. Maybe it's the extra salt in their diet. Silly iguana. Thought you were going to escape. Not today, buddy. Ninja oh, got him. Nice. Man, what a nuisance. Bad iguana. After work, we decided to go crabbing and fishing with our friend Eric. He's got his very own boat and loves to do cool outdoor adventures. Travel up this saltwater river basin in search of red mangroves that might hold crabs. right there bro After rainfall, the hunt continues for massive crabs. Eric, you ain't gonna be able to catch him with that hook, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, you're not gonna be able to hook it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, bring in the shark pole. It's time, guys. So yeah, what were you saying about catching that with that? Uh, I like that. That was I, that was live action right there. I've never seen that up close ever in my life. We ended up checking more traps and catching traps about 10 crabs. Back in the kitchen. Quite the harvest, huh? Mm -hmm. Not bad. Giant crabs. What we did is we froze them keep them nice and fresh, and also if there's any parasites on them, they'll die. They are tasty though. It's such a beautiful blue color to them compared to the ones up in Maryland. They're, you know, they call them blue claw crabs too, but I like the taste of these southern waters because it's, um, you know, it's, it makes the meat more sweeter because it's more fresh water here.
we're gonna get our line. All right. Another big crab. That's how you can tell it's a male right there. Yeah. Let's see. Yep. Go around the fin. Yeah, so I guess you want to you want to try to flip this thing right here. Then once you can do that, then you can kind of just find the hinge and just give it a nice crack, just like that. Those crab heads. I'm just gonna take the heads off a couple of them, and then I'm gonna clean a couple of them. One, two, three, four, five. All right, check it out. So we cleaned out half of them right here. We still got the other half in here. I'm gonna get right to it. You guys seen me clean a bunch of them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get right to it. You guys already know what to do. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get some of these crabs clean. Look at this claw. Check that out. So look how clean the crab came out. It's marinating in lime. See how clear that water is right there? Perfect. Then right here we have some chopped up potatoes and some chopped up eggplant. Mm -mm -mm. And you already know the main attraction of this dish. Well, you already know the main flavor of this dish. We're doing it Trinidadian curry style. Like yep, so it's bubbling up and add some water. Let everything get mixed up. Start cooking. Go ahead and hit that crab with some marinade. Trini special right there. Cilantro, garlic, onion, pepper, thyme, uh, oregano. All that right there, blend it up. Mm. Of course you want to hit it with your salt and your all-purpose seasoning if you want. Now, these crabs are like white and they're blue. So how are we gonna know if they're cooked, man? Um, I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah. And we'll be back and see how they look in about 10 minutes. Yep, check them out. Sizzle, sizzle. Oh man, I don't know about you, but I love seafood. And nothing better than going out and catching it yourself. Yeah, watch the crab. Yeah, you can see it's going from white to red. 
What are those squirrels doing, dude? They're nesting in the coconuts. They are. Oh, there's another one right there. What on? It's like a tropical rainforest out here. For real? And all, oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. They're fighting. Wow. Wait. Oh, he's on the, what? What is it? Whoa. He's flying. Oh, oh my goodness. What on earth is all around this? What on earth is wrong with this squirrel, dude? He's like charged up on coconuts or mangoes. He's charged up on coconuts. He's charged <laughs> up, dude. Charged up on coconuts. <laughs> look at that silly little rascal. Look at him. Look, he's looking at us now. Yeah, yeah. But don't forget, there was another one too. No, right. Captain Eric, I think I got some secret turtle catching bait, bro. Let's see. Some fun doodles. Oh, nice and still. This will work. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just got them all right here. Yeah, they'll come. If you feed them, they will come. If you feed the turtles, they will come. You got them? No what? You got them. You got them. Just be careful with that. Holy mackerel. Here, flip them in that boat right there. All right, all right. We got to be gentle with him. He's a little scared. We don't want him to be scared. We just yeah. don't want to get him hooked. That's the thing. Yeah, buddy. We're fishing over here, man. I used to have these as pets when I was a kid. Really? So, yeah, this is a full-grown one. It's beautiful. They do bite. They do have beaks. Um, if you haven't handled a turtle before, I wouldn't recommend it. But um, mm, They're strong. They got claws, too. Yeah. Look at him. He's you trying to see he's, the beak. Yeah, look at him. He's got a beak. Yeah, like it's a, like a parrot. Oh, wow. Like the green parrots we have flying around out here. They do have a beak. Yeah, and McCall's. Look at those claws right there, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to respect them. You know, as yeah. cute as they are, they can definitely uh, defend themselves. And you got to respect that. Point blank, period. Yard man. Actually. Dang, dude, you got a strong kick, bro. All right, and we have fire out here at the Iguana Man Base Camp. Okay, so we got Captain Eric over here yeah. at the crabs, and uh, check it out. So we have the curry crabs, already good. Look yeah. at that, it's gonna be great. What's in there? There you go. Watch this one. Flawless. Sheesh. Flawless. Those things are massive, dude. Look at that. That plate right there. Mm. Curry crab, Trinidadian style, with potatoes and eggplant. Classic dish in the islands. We got some curry chicken, just a side of it. You can always come back. You can always come back. Y'all heard that? I need some more sauce on that rice. There we go. Love that curry, yeah? Oh! <laughs> Talking my language. <laughs> That's a plate right there. Yeah, you're talking my language. Well, it's not easy to be improved wrong, but I just got schooled, which it's okay, because it's all about learning. You could eat this shell, and it's really good. Hmm. Go that meat. A perfect amount of curry. Dang, so you can just eat right through the shell. It's like soft shell over there, right? It's a little crunchy, but it hits a spot, man. Huh. Interesting. Never tried that before. I usually always take the shell out, but the shell is soft. The shell is nutritious, believe it or not, you know? Yeah. There's calcium in there. There's a lot of vitamins. And I heard... One of my friends, she was Hispanic, and she used to eat shrimp with the shell on. You know, sometimes, up. sometimes I eat them. Like if I go fishing, and let's say I didn't have much of a good fishing day, I'll eat the rest of the live shrimp. And I'll eat them with the, the shell on. Really? Yeah. Captain Eric, you know, this is, this is how we do it. 
It's a Caribbean thing, right? It, it's definitely a Caribbean thing. You got to be here to live it. <laughs> yeah. It's true. The rain went away. The cool air just set in. We got our fire over there. Get back over here. We got the curry over here. We have the claws. I mean, these are huge. Huge. Oh, yeah. Enjoying every minute of it, guys. Not for nothing, but you got to get in here and try this with us. You you don't know what you're missing out on. We invite you guys to come out with us. To have a good time on our journeys. Oh, wow. Look at that meat in there. Dude. Oh, my goodness. It's a full piece. Curry. It's a perfect bite every time. I, you know what? I'm done talking. I'm done talking. I got to eat. You got some business. I got to eat. I got to eat. Got Ninja over here using a little utensil to eat the crab. Seems the thing is blessing, blessing. So you guys are just eating the shells? Like for real? Like on the belly? All right. I, I am. I never tried that before, dude. He's picking through it, bro. He's right. I was wasting my time picking through it. Bite down, okay. and you pull all that off, and, just eat that. and, and all this is is very thin shell. Okay, you don't eat the bottom shell, the hard part. And it's not gonna, it's not Make gonna mess up your stomach. It's not gonna do anything. Digesting it, you're gonna be perfectly fine. It's really good. Yeah, look at that fat on that meat right there. Look at that. That's just ridiculous. I they can really see the fat, dude. The fat is like I don't even know what to say. It's like butter just leaking off of it. It's all crab fat. That's going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your favorite part in the comments down below. We don't only catch iguanas on this channel. Bringing you all these animal and outdoor adventures.